Hey there, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your monthly tarot forecast for May 2022. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, you know, if you do watch the astrology on this channel as well, remember that the astrology is more akin to the weather and the tarot is more akin to the traffic as far as reports go. And that might help you to kind of, you know, reconcile them if you ever get confused, at least as far as my channel goes. If you are watching your rising sign forecast, you are getting additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign tarot is showing up. And if you're watching your moon sign tarot, you are getting the less prominent, albeit still significant side story that's also playing out throughout the course of this month. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. This month, if your big spiritual theme or the big focus, you have the Six of Wands upright. And this is going to be a month where a lot of big wins are throwing off your course for the rest of 2022, but in a good way. Because with the Six of Wands, we have this massive focus on victory, acclaim, popularity, and achievement, which is displacing a lot of the everyday, or a lot of the toil, or a lot of the complications, or a lot of the compromises that we have been maybe maintaining or continuing to work with in recent history. The Six of Wands is indicating that these wins are also going to be putting you in a position to be able to enact some kind of very delicate plan that maybe you have been struggling to see how you would be able to implement it when it comes to a deeply personal goal or ambition or something that you would like to bring maybe a lover or family on board with. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, and your finances, we do see the King of Cups reversed as well as the Nine of Pentacles reversed. And even when reversed, the King of Cups is still very, very good for money. In fact, we are going to be doing quite well financially, living it quite large, especially with that Six of Wands there. However, with the King of Cups reversed, there may be a need to pay attention to where um, some kind of social dynamic or business dynamic it has gone sour, whether this is on the job or this has to do with a collaborator, an ally, a client or a customer or a third party. Uh, you are going to want to take your business, your money or your alliance elsewhere. And that may prove to be uh, a lot more clear as we go through the month of May. And that is because with the King of Cups reversed, we often see somebody who is allowing a lot of their personal insecurities or a lot of their own issues um, come straight to work with them <laughs> and make life hell for you. This could also be a situation where you may have to confront a delicate matter with a family member, uh, you know, again, off the job, but something going on in practical affairs as it relates to their home or their household or their livelihood. Uh, and it may be difficult because they may have done this to themselves. With the Nine of Pentacles reversed, I am seeing a shift away from a career track or a financial plan that you've been on that has been slow to grow or maybe has not been growing at all because of that Six of Wands upright as well. We are getting a big win and abandoning something that we did to play it safe. And with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, there may also be a need to pay attention to where there may be a short lifespan on a certain investment or a certain career or work commitment that we have been holding on to for a while. Um, I don't think anything has to be done about it right now this month, but we're seeing the end of the end of the line when it comes to this matter. And some of you Sagittarian people may be needing to shake off your comfort zone a little bit and get ready to shake it up either internally at your job front or with your business here within the next few months or you know get ready to look for maybe greener pastures to set up shop in and again this is all voluntarily but you know just a heads up is coming as we go through this month it looks like 
When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, we do have the Queen of Wands reversed, as well as the Page of Swords upright. And it does look like interpersonal conflict it could be on the way, again, when it comes to friends and relatives. We've already kind of teased a little bit of that. This could be one and the same with the King of Cups reversed or a completely different matter. With the Queen of Wands reversed, um, there is a battle of control going on here. There is something going on where somebody is attempting to push or malign or manipulate a group or family matter to their own ends and you know they are doing it in a way that's overtly abusive the convenient thing about the queen of wands reversed is that they don't do anything subtle it's the quintessential mean girls card um, though it might not necessarily be a girl the challenge that gets brought up here with the queen of wands reversed is that this person is used to people doing what they want in order to keep the peace but Peace at the cost of everyone being able to be happy is not necessarily the way to go. And we may have to confront this person and smack them down for good. With the Page of Swords upright, however, we've got some really good news coming from, I'm assuming, another corner of your social life or another corner of your family, where um, a shortcut or a hot tip or um, is getting shared with you. This could be from an informant that you have or a trusted ally that is setting you up to maybe attain something that you have sought that other people took a lot longer to get. Now, like I said, a shortcut. The Page of Swords could ind indicate that they are setting up some kind of meeting, an interview, or they are operating as a guide this month. And you're going to want to make some time to explore this. When it comes to your challenges this month, we do have the Emperor card upright, as well as the Two of Cups upright. And with the Emperor card upright, you know, it's not really a challenge, but it can be depending on what you're used to doing and how you're used to carrying yourself. You are in charge, Sagittarius, this month. You are the boss. You are getting offered a lot of leadership positions in order to enact um, a lot of long-term systemic changes in all areas of your life. Family, friends, work, you name it. And with the Emperor card, your biggest challenge is taking the throne making sure that you do not pass it off to somebody else, that you do not defer that authority away, and be okay with being large and in charge, even if it's only for a month and you're like, I don't like it, and you can finally, fine, get off the throne in June, whatever. But for the month of May, people are looking to you for leadership and guidance, relationship partners, family members, coworkers, clients, everything. And this is a time where you can transform a lot of these spaces and environments to suit your sensibilities and the highest is, highest interest of all concerned at the same time. So why wouldn't you take it? When it comes to the Two of Cups upright, another challenge that's actually positive but would just be difficult uh, is, I guess, is the Two of Cups. Letting other people in on things that you have been handling alone Sometimes we need more people on, on deck. Sometimes we need to let people in on what's going on inside us. Uh, we let, need to let people in on our plans. We also need to let people in on our struggles. And with the Two of Cups, you have allies willing to step forward, whether it's you know professional allies helping you to contain the King of Cups reversed, or it's friends and family members who are totally okay with you know, building a raid party with you and taking on the Queen of Wands reversed, however it needs to go. But you can't just go everything alone. This is also a time with the Two of Cups where joining forces with people that are complementary to you as opposed to similar to you is going to get you a lot farther than maybe looking for sameness. You know, sometimes we have to be able to balance that. Do we need more of ourselves or do we need someone who's going to cover our backs and, you know, uh, fill in the gaps? And this is where, you know, you're going to get that, but you want to make sure that you're open, you're available to that. A lot of heart-to-hearts and also, again, a chance to get a lot closer to people. It's going to be quite... Um, 
prominent throughout the course of this month. Finally, when it comes to relationships and love and romance and partnerships, we've got the Death card reversed and the Knight of Swords reversed. And it does look like um, old business is going to be coming back on the table for a bit of a review this month. Now, the Death card reversed doesn't have to be a negative thing by any stretch of the imagination, but we are getting brought up to finalize some kind of change or maybe complete some kind of uh, relationship page turn that has been going at a snail's pace. Now, with the Death card reversed, this can be really, really good, especially if you and a partner or you and a partner intended have been working towards this kind of status shift for a long time. Uh, we are ready to take things to the next level, get established in a whole new um, normal with ourselves. Or maybe we are looking to clear something that has been standing in our way from being able to lock in again, a whole new lifestyle for ourselves. That could be also the case, but this old business is going to need to be dealt with. I do feel with the death card reversed, it's not going to so much be a struggle. This could actually be a very rewarding period. It's kind of just like cleaning out your whole space. Um, but, you know, if you and your partner encounter resistance from others, you know, you're going to have to make sure that you're firm about making sure that we're finalizing these stories and these narratives going forward. And for those of you who are single and available to new people, the death card reversed is indicating here that something that has been trying to happen, uh, but not happening, maybe we're, not, we're beating around the bush, maybe we're not being totally clear with each other, or maybe it's just the stars have never aligned, it's finally getting a chance to finally happen. When it comes to the Knight of Swords reversed, however, uh, there could be some interpersonal issues coming up here as well. Not between you and your partner or you and your sweetheart or your intended, uh, but I'm looking at maybe something that is a part of the package deal that we need to get under control. This could be uh, one of your relatives, this could be a relative of a partner. This could be a friend or a member of our community, somebody that has gotten really close to the couple or has been creating trouble for the couple. And with the Knight of Swords reversed, more often than not, we see somebody who is trouble for themselves as well. This is kind of a loose cannon type of situation. And we're going to have to be sensibly self-ish, to a certain degree and see what we can do about pushing this out and cleaning up that mess and not having it get made again. So that is what I've got for you, Sagittarius people. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.